Good morning, Americans. This is your private alien, and bye-bye, here on Monday, February 9th, 2020. I want to do an interesting video, in serious, to all you Americans and Terrans, from an alien point of view, here. So, here it goes. Dear Terrans, and especially Americans, this is your favorite alien, and bye-bye. And I wanted to do a video on your state of affairs in your planet. The coronavirus has pointed out your state of affairs. Disastrous. Because neither one of you so-called leaders in your nation states had the capacity to lead. And it's more evident here in the United States. There is no such thing as a leadership in the United States. There is no such thing as leadership in Russia. China, well, it's the one that started all this mess. And there's no leadership there. Look at the Italians. They're trying to do helter-skelter work to try to stop this thing. But they don't know what they're trying to stop. Neither does the Americans. The Chinese don't, and they're the ones that created this mess. And here's the problem. Let me take the American point of view. The American administration under Donald J. Trump is a disaster because of him. He expects loyalty and nothing but his point of view will be allowed in his administration. Really, President Trump? You need people that work together. And there's two presidents that have done this with people that know their jobs and work, but they don't like each other. Presidents George Washington and Abraham Lincoln and your history books. You didn't study them, did you, President Trump? Or you wouldn't be as stupid as you are today. Number one, President Washington. He needed people that didn't like each other, but knew what they were doing. Alexander Hamilton... Thomas Jefferson, to two. And John Adams as a vice president. The three of them didn't like Washington, didn't like each other. But Hamilton handled the Treasury, got away, uh, wiped out the $75 million debt that you owed France. And Jefferson, he did a good job over there. He made the country what it is today. Then you have Abraham Lincoln, where you had people that didn't like each other. Seward, Secretary of State, and Stanton, Secretary of War, or Defense, as you call it today. Now, Mr. Stanton hated Lincoln, big time even before the election. Why did Lincoln pick him? Because he was the best guy for the job. And you had a war on your hands. Like you do right now. You got a war on your hands, President Trump, and you're doing absolutely nothing. President Lincoln relied on his advisors. Same thing as most good presidents have. You don't. You fire them. Because they don't take loyalty to me or my way is the highway. Your way is the highway, that's for sure. That's what you're having right now. First thing you did was get out of the Paris Accord. Really? That could have saved you right now, President Trump. You didn't understand that accord, and it wasn't because the Americans are losing jobs. Of course they would. That's the purpose of the, uh, the uh, Paris Accord. What are you, a dummy? Look at the coronavirus right now. Your administration is looking so silly, it's not even funny. And you got a serious thing here. Like I said, if this follows the original timeline, you're going to have 155 million Americans dead by your hand. Do you like that, President Trump? And the problem is you're in an election year. And you got Democratic candidates that don't mount to nothing. The one candidate, the Democratic Party, is trying to eliminate... Tulsi Gabbard is the only one that can save this country. Really. Because she 
would fu function like General George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. She needs people on her side that know what they're doing. They may not agree with her, they may not have the same views, but they understand respect. And the leader of the executive branch deserves respect. You don't have that. You don't even have leadership. You don't even have loyalty. All you have is cronies. Get together, Mr. Trump. Get this thing, because this thing is going to be out of hand in a couple months. Look what's happening to Italy and South uh, Korea. China's going to have a second wave of this thing coming up in a couple months. Like I said, they lose 800 million. So come on, President Trump. Where is your worldwide planet? You should have guys should have got together and figured out, oh, we got pandemics that we have. We've had SARS. We had MERS. And those were just invitations. Like, hello, guys, we're here. You had the Spanish flu 100 years ago on this planet, didn't you? And what have you done? Absolutely nothing. So this is what I'm saying, President Trump. Your planet leader should have got together and said, we're going to designate this area of the planet for quarantine. You never did that. Now you're paying the price. This is your favorite alien, and bye-bye. Good day.